Good day guys. We are going to study problems 9 and 10 from MB Henship. Problem number 9 states that Henship is arriving at a port where the relative density of the water is 1.014 and she is arriving on an even keel draft of 6.72 meters. On departure, she sails at a draft of 7.2 meters forward, 7.3 meters aft, and during the port stay, she has received 120 tons of fresh water, and 40 tons of fuel and fresh water was consumed in the port. We have to find the weight of the cargo that was loaded at this port. The basis sailing drafts. 7.2 forward and 7.3 aft. The main draft is 7.25 meters and the trim is 0 0.10 meters by the stern. You go into your hydrostatic tables for hinge ship at a main draft of 7.25 meters to find her LCF. At 7.25 meters, which is between 7.2 and 7.4, and the LCF is between 71.393 and 71.193 meters. You interpolate and you find that the LCF for mean draft of 7.25 meters works out to 71.343 meters. Now this correction has to be applied to the aft draft because you have taken the center of flotation from the aft perpendicular from the tables LCF. Since the trim is by the stern, it is positive and LCF is always negative when taken from half perpendicular, so the correction will be negative. You work out the correction to the half drop by using the formula LCF upon LBP, LCF upon LBP multiplied by the trim. And that gives you a correction of 0 0.050 meters, which has to be applied to the aft draft in the negative manner. So the hydrostatic draft for sailing works out to 7.250 meters. Since she arrived, since Hinship arrived at an even keel draft of 6.72 meters, the hydrostatic draft will also be 6.72 meters because the trim is zero and when we apply it in this formula trim is zero the correction will automatically come to zero hence the hydrostatic draft will be the even keel draft of 6.72 meters at 6.72 meters you have to see her hydrostatic draft at 6.72 meters arrival hydrostatic draft, you have to see her arrival displacement. So let's go to the hydrostatic tables and interpolate between 6.6 .6 and 6.8. And her displacement is between 13,383 and 13,840. And you get her displacement to be 13,657.2 metric tons. But this displacement that we saw is in salt water because these tables were made basis salt water. But this has to be corrected and the displacement has to be worked out for the dock water of 1.014. So 13,657.2 divided by 1.025 gives you the underwater volume and then you multiply it by 1.014 gives you 13,510.6 metric tons. Salt water displacement for sailing hydrostatic draft is 14,877.3. So we go to 7.25 meters and we interpolate between these two numbers for 7. 0.25 meters that is 14,761 and 15,226 and we get that to be equal to 14,877.3 metric tons. 
you have to convert that displacement to dock water displacement by dividing it by 1.025 and then multiplying it by 1.014 and you get your departure displacement, sailing displacement to be 14,717.6. Now going back a little bit, we had arrival displacement, we calculated that to be 13,510.6, okay. We received 120 tons of fresh water and we also consumed 40 tons of fuel and fresh water. You add the quantity received and you subtract the quantity that you consumed, you get the displacement after these above operations working out to 13,590.6 metric tons. Your departure displacement in dock water was 14,717.6. You subtract the two and you will get the cargo that you have loaded and that works out to 1,127 metric tons. We go to problem number 10. A hinge ship arrives in dock water of 1.012 with a draft 6.15 meters forward, 7.22 meters aft. A sailing draft in water of 1.025 relative density, that is sea water, was 5.33 meters and 5.98 meters. Here we have to calculate the weight of the cargo discharged if 85 tons of fuel and fresh water were consumed in the port. So the basis of the arrival drafts forward 6.15 and aft 7.22 meters, we find the mean draft and that is 6.685 meters. Going into the hydrostatic tables for this draft of 6.685 meters, 6.685 meters and we have to find her at LCF at that draft. So that is between 72.005 and 71.806 meters. It works out to 71.92 meters. The correction to the aft draft is calculated by the formula LCF upon LBP into trim. Now the trim is 7.22 minus 6.15 which is 1.07 meters. So when you apply this, put in the values, you get the correction to be 0.537 meters. Now what will be the sign of this correction? Here we have to note that the forward draft is less than the aft draft. That means she is trimmed by the stern and the sign is negative. Now the sign is positive, I'm sorry, my mistake. The sign is positive and the trim is by the stern, the sign is positive. The LCF is always forward of half perpendicular, hence it is negative. So algebraically positive into negative will give you a negative sign, hence the correction has to be subtracted. So arrival hydrostatic draft therefore works out to 7.22 meters minus 0.537. This gives you a hydrostatic draft of 6.683 meters. Now, the salt water displacement for this draft, 6.683 meters from the hydrostatic tables works out to we have to interpolate between 6.6, 6.8 and 13,383 and 13,840 metric tons. With this works out to 13,572.7 metric tons. That has to be calculated now for her dock water which is 1.012. Her arrival dock water density was 1.012. So you divide this displacement by 1.025 and you multiply by 1.012, you get 13,400.6 metric tons. Now we come to the departure condition. Forward draft 5.33 meters, aft draft 5.98 meters. The mean works out to 5.655 meters and the trim works out to 0.65 meters by the stern. 
0.65 meters by the stern the sign is the sign of the trim is positive and the sign of LCF is negative hence the sign of the correction will be negative so LCF for 5.655 meters we go to the hydrostatic tables and we check for 5.655 meters 5.6 and 5.8 and we see her LCF to be between 72.675 and 72.590 meters. So after interpolation, we see it is coming to 72.652 meters. The correction to the half draft is given by the formula LCF upon LBP into trim. And that works out to 0 0.33 meters. This has to be subtracted from the aft draft and you get a hydrostatic draft departure condition at 5.65 meters. She departs in salt water at a hydrostatic draft of 5.65 meters. So going back to the hydrostatic tables, we can see it's between 5.6 and 5.8 meters and that gives you a displacement somewhere between 11,120 and 11,569. So after interpolating for this 5.65 meters, we see it works out to 11,232.3 metric tons. Now, for ease of calculation, I suggest you apply this 85 tons consumption to the arrival draft or uh, to the arrival displacement that is 13,400.6 and since it is consumed you minus 85 tons and what the answer that you get you subtract it from your departure displacement of 11,232.3 that will give you the weight of the cargo discharged as 2,083.3 metric tons. Why I suggested this method is it is given in problems 6 and 9 uh, that we have done earlier. It is very easy to calculate it this way than to do it as it is suggested over here. I am not saying that this is a wrong method but the earlier method was and is much simpler and easy to understand. So with that boys, say thank you very much. If you like my presentation, please uh, like, give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Goodbye.